going to Duncan today. Welcome to this week's Walk and Talk. We've got a lot to talk about. So I recently got the Star Wars Arcade One Up cabinet. And on the box, we have that barcode for the Arcade One Up app. It comes up a couple different times on the box on one side of it. Both sides have this, this logo. The front, the back side has it too. So it's something to look for going forward. Now I did scan this and an image came up of coming soon. It is on that deluxe class of 81 box and anything going, going further here. So we'll see what this is all about. There's a lot of speculation, but it's pretty interesting. So we're going to talk Ridge Racer and the kiosk system at Best Buy. These tickets are still available, but Ridge Racer is becoming harder and harder to find. So there's a wish list here on you know, the new titles for Arcade 1UP. And, you know, I recently covered Galaxy Champions TV. And I'm just going to tell you, I, this is this is as close to Smash TV as we're going to get on an arcade platform with the dueling sticks here. Because that's all we're using here. We're using both joysticks to play this game. And there's a couple other ways you can play a Smash TV on an arcade. But if you have an iArcade, or you're thinking about getting an iArcade, look into this game. This $6.99, you cannot go wrong with this. This is an awesome game. I just, I just want to throw it out there that we're, you know, we're all hungry to, to get Smash TV. This is as close to that as we're going to get for right now until, until Arcade 1UP comes out with something. And it's just, it's something to check out. You know, the boards look identical. It's a different theme, obviously, but this plays arcade accurate with those with those joysticks. Now, if you don't have an iArcade and you have an Arcade 1UP or MVSX, you can play Smash TV on an arcade on the MVSX here through the Hilo hack. But if you have a first-gen Arcade 1UP, you can put that Intech control uh, panel in and you can play the NES cartridges, or there's one for the Sega Genesis cartridges. Now I'm gonna leave a link in this description for the bad guy Mike Worley's channel. He has a Smash TV video, and you should check it out. Now the, the thing is, playing on the Intec or playing on the MBSX, we're not gonna be using both joysticks. It's the A and B buttons, but this, these are our options. It's the IRK, the Intec for an arcade one up, or the MBSX Hilo hack. So just to show you quick here on a 16-bit game, how it's gonna look here. And you know, this is just like when we saw on Galaxy Champions TV, it's the same kind of format here. We're we're you know we're shooting every direction. But it's something to think about if you do have a first gen arcade one up or you're or you're looking at them. Having playing everything on a joystick with with arcade buttons, it's just like this is the way it was meant to be played. And with the Hilo hack, if if anyone's interested in me doing a video on the games in the Hilo hack, like going over every game, there's a ton of them, and I want to say there's about 630 games. You know, if you leave a comment and just put like Hilo Hilo X at the end of the comment, you know, if there's enough of them, I'll do I'll do a video. It's gonna be. It's going to be a video just going over like the game lineup and I'll play a couple, but I'll, we'll just go over every file because it's just amazing how many different games are on here. Going back to the iArcade here, for everyone that wants Robotron, we basically have it here on Saturn, which was free by the way. And I just covered this a couple of weeks ago, but there was a couple of new games, some copycat, Smash TV, and Papa Brad just did a segment. And he basically said, like, these games are better than, you know, if, if you had to pick, these are what I would get instead of these new downloads. And, you know, for everyone that wants Robotron, we got it with Saturn. I mean, on the IR Arcade. And until they make a cabinet, whether they do or not, this is as close as we're going to get to that. And, you know, the 80s titles, we're all talking about them. We're all speculating what that cabinet's going to be. And Robotron's one of those fan favorites that, you know, people want it. 
you know, so we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, we can play a Robotron copycat on the iArcade. We can play a Smash TV copycat on the iArcade, or you can play a Smash TV in tech on an arcade one up or Smash TV on your Hilo hack for MVSX. So I just wanted to start off in the arcade and just go over a couple of those options while we're waiting and just like guessing and speculating what these new titles will be this year. All right, we're gonna run inside of Hallmark store. And I was here yesterday and there's a lot of cool Star Wars stuff here. They must have got some new shipment in the last couple of weeks. I do check this store out once in a while. A lot of cool collectible stuff here today. Huge Disney theme park van. And they do have some Disney stuff here. The Haunted Mansion. Madame Leota. Nightmare Before Christmas. Now I do have a Disney theme, like theme park decor in the house. And I'm always like looking for Disney stuff. It's all a good place to find peanuts. So the funny thing about Ridge Racer. They have a sale for $2.99. Doesn't sell out. But Buy Stuff Arcades comes out with a mod. Check out this picture here. From one side to the other. Buy Stuff Arcades comes out with a mod. So you can add all these racing games to your Ridge Racer. And now they're sold out everywhere. Every retailer has now sold out on Ridge Racer, and I wanted to cover this the last couple of weeks, but there was just too much coming up arcade-related news that I didn't get around to doing it. And I am shocked. Like, the only Ridge Racer you can find is overpaying on, like, eBay or Amazon. And in some Best Buys, there's, like, a five fifty nine dollars on an open-boxed item. But it is sold out. There's a classic Batman. I love the way Batman was drawn in the 80s. And some Donald Duck. Now, it's not all Disney stuff that I like decorate the house with, but it's like the theme park related stuff. Anything like Disneyland is what I was always looking for. I do have some Disney World type stuff, but there's some Star Wars stuff we'll get to in a second. But, but yeah, I, Kelly, you know, she puts up with it, but it just reminds me of going to those theme parks. Got some nice looking Disney bags. I've seen this collection here before. This is all new. Look at this Aladdin. Signature cards are, this is becoming popular here. Like you can display these themes. There's Star Wars. I saw some Batman ones here. It's pretty cool. Get Bugs Bunny and the crew here. Got the Mandalorian season three coming up as a recording of this. It's Sunday, February 25th, 2023. So this Wednesday, the 1st of March, will be episode one of season three of The Mandalorian. Bunch of new Star Wars merchandise here. So I recently did a review on the Arcade 1-Up Star Wars cabinet with the molded coin door that lights up. And there's a barcode on there. And my thoughts on that... This is a way to scan that barcode at home, register your device. I'm just taking a guess here. Register your device. And so if you ever run into issues with customer support, it'd be an easy way to access that instead of sending an email and playing a waiting game. Is that Batman one I was talking about? Now that it's registered, Probably be a faster way to resolve whatever issue you, you came across. That's what I think is going on. That's why I think they created an app. They're just trying to do something different and more user friendly. You know, their the, the relations with the customer, with the community, I mean, they're trying. I just think that's 
just one extra step they're taking. We're beaming up. Notify transporter room. Aye, aye, sir. Transporter room, stand by to beam up landing party. All hands, standing by, sir. Energize. Energize. Once had this Han Solo cell phone holder where he was, you know, frozen that graphite. I always regret not picking that up. And that, that's the thing is, you know, when we're looking to get stuff, collectibles, and we pass on stuff, those are the reasons why, like, you have to make that decision. If I don't get it this now, it might not be here the next time. And, you know, that's what we run into as collectors. Turtles backpack. Just love seeing that original Ninja Turtles artwork, the sign. Here's a close-up of that Batman we were just looking at. That's just something you can leave out on the shelf. It's cool. The 3D card. Got Indiana Jones. E plush toys here. His heart will turn on here. I just squeezed him. That's pretty cool. You know, if they stood, I'd, I'd pick one up. It doesn't really... I don't know. No, it is pretty cool, though, hey? They got a green Power Ranger, too. Kelly is actually allowing this picture. This this might be coming with us. This is a good one. The last week I brought up the fact that they showed us that Sonic the Hedgehog cabinet in the Miami location. Like what, what happened with that along with like a tapper theme that had that refrigerator, that mini fridge. A week goes by. I mean, what everyone's talking about. So the three new titles and the XL, which I think there's going to be more than that. I think they're just playing it safe and they're saying, okay, we'll commit to three brand new titles. So this is nothing re-released here. The XL might be a re-release. I mean, we can speculate if that's time crisis or if it's something else, but out of those three new titles, they said one of them is an eighties theme cab. Hubert and Robotron seem to be like what everyone wants. Hubert, I, you know what? I'm, Kind of getting sold here. Here's that Spider-Man. So these are all 3D. We saw saw that Avengers one, that Indiana Jones, the Superman. These are cool. I know they're just cards, but you could leave them out. All, you know, just as as decoration. I think Hubert is going to be our 80s title. Could you imagine if they did Hubert? The Lux form factor with the recessed screen. I'd totally get it. That'd be worth getting rid of a cab to make room for it. I am on board for Qbert. Everyone is. It, it has to be Qbert. How awesome would that be? So refreshing to see a nostalgia come up. I mean, just even for these Nickelodeon. Just everything that they have here. It's really cool. I mean, it's just, it's just something that drives all of us. And go to certain stores and just find things that it just takes you back to that that childhood. Look at Gaston here with the biceps. So other than Star Wars and the new deluxe class 81 we saw that picture of are the only ones that have that barcode on there. Blitz, Ms. Pac-Man, the infinity table over here, along with we go around the other side here. You have the Simpsons, Shack Jam. These don't have that barcode for the app. So it's a totally new thing. And it's good to speculate, but I just think it's one way to reach customer support faster by having your cabinet registered. And just to take note, the Pac-Man Couch Gate, $152. Run into Kohl's. I need to find a Star Wars shirt for Wednesday night. And I'm going to explain why when we get inside here. So up until this point right now, I had no idea that Baby Yoda was a Wisconsin Badger fan. So I need a Star Wars shirt. I, you know, the ones I have are a little beat up. I want a new one. Like I was saying, this Wednesday, March 1st, is season three, episode one premiere of The Mandalorian. And... 
we got to go through some of these shirts here. We got to find, look at that Ninja Turtle. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. We got some Kohl's cash. So that's why we're at Kohl's. There are a lot of Star Wars shirts here. You got the one of the Death Star here. It's just, I got to find a large. There's a lot of mediums, a lot of X, XLs. You know, shirts are so different nowadays. When you think it's an XL because it's going to shrink, it turns out to be way too big. And so if you haven't checked out Arcades Anonymous, every Wednesday night, 6 o'clock Pacific, I kind of want this Mandalorian one, 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern, it's a large. We might be getting, you know what? Gonna set this one aside here. This is a good one. This is the same as I think that's kind of fitting, hey. This is episode number four, and we're gonna be talking a lot about the Mandalorian. And if you haven't checked out, it is on Outrun the Neon Sun. I'm gonna have a link to that channel in this video in the description. I'm going to tell you something. It's the, the guys on here, you know, we're all different. And it just, we, we, we just gel. We're all passionate about something. And the thing about Arcades Anonymous, anyone can be on this show. If you're passionate, Darth Vader here, this is kind of an 80s looking, I like it. You know, the 80s, man, they have the best stuff. Just the colors. We haven't known each other for that long. And what size is this? A medium? It's like we've known each other for, for years. I mean, we're we're really getting along. I, I, I'm going to be, you know, when I started doing videos on YouTube, just thought it'd be my own thing. You know, I was just going to do, do stuff. You know, this is, we'll see where it goes. And I have met some amazing people in the community on Dan's show. Arcades Anonymous. Check out this Empire Strikes Back shirt. What size is this? It's huge. That is a cool shirt. I have never thought I'd be a part of something so special. It's I'm having a great time with these guys. It is just it's just something I can't explain it. The friendships that I've made. In a short amount of time. If you haven't checked this out, I mean, episode four is going to be really cool. And you never know who's going to be guest starring on the show. And there's, a, there's a lot of good shirts here. Here's the, you know, the backdrop here of you know, their features. Um, you can see a Baby Yoda sweatshirt over here. Target selection on these graphic tees is kind of gone down a little bit. You know, I go I go to Target a lot. I'm a big Target guy. Kohl's just has so many more shirts. And uh, in the eleventh hour here, trying to find a Star Wars or a Mandalorian shirt. I mean, there's plenty. Two for twenty five. Got the Kohl's cash. These are the shirts I'm gonna get. So we got the Mandalorian for Wednesday night, and then this Batman. It's a good luck. They do have other good Star Wars shirts here. I did like this 80s one. They didn't have any large in this size. They had a Darth Vader in large. But these are the two. That's a little bit of a repeat, but th this is still here. It's tempting. I don't know what I'd do with it, but it, the fact that it's still here. You now we're getting the shirts. You know, got the Mandalorian, got the Batman. Just wanted to see if this last collector cade, Mortal Kombat 2, was still here. And uh, I'm just a sucker for finding arcade one ups in stores. Can't resist. I don't know what it is about it. Just love seeing this stuff. I do have some Star Wars in the big and tall section. I did see a Darth Vader here last week. Let me see if I can still. Find it. It either got bought out or oh, here it is. Here it is. Hold on. I'll do a side by side here. This is a cool one. I was hoping to find this over in the 
graphic tees to two for 25. But yeah, and the colors on here, just, it just pops out. <laughs> just a classic Darth Vader. I mean, what is it about him? I mean, he's just like, I just get drawn to him too. They could have did a better job creating this character. I mean, who wasn't, who wasn't moved when Luke Skywalker came and got him? Maybe Yoda's got you covered for Easter, too. There are some Disney Easter decorations, too, but I just walked past this. I'm trying to find Kelly. This is the joys of shopping with, with women nowadays, right, is it takes a little while to find them in stores. I must have did two laps already in the store. This ornament approved by Kelly. Which we finally found her, by the way. She might pick this up for me. This would be good on the tree. We just wanted an arcade Christmas ornament. Here's the Batmobile from the Batman movie. It's interesting seeing toys at Kohl's. That's a pretty cool one. You know, the thing about Ridge Racer being out of stock here, this reminds me of NBA Jam. There was about a two-month period where uh, Target had NBA Jam for four forty-nine, and I'd go on there every day and just look at it. And, and, and I ended up going with the Countercade. Then it became sold out, and I ended up buying that open box at Best Buy. Same thing happened with Outrunners, Outrun, I should say. Um, Star Wars. And now Ridge Racer. It just and I thought Ridge Racer would I thought it would sell out, but not this quick. I didn't see it coming back down in price because of that mod from Buy Stuff Arcades. And you know what? I'm kinda I'm kinda thinking about it myself. Ten forty nine might actually seem like a deal nowadays on an action figure. It's just crazy where where the prices have gone. Maybe it's just me. They just seem they just seem high. And how much is the vulture here? Eleven nineteen. It's just like remember the days when they were two ninety nine, three ninety nine. That's crazy. I might do that mod. I think that'd be I think that'd be cool to have on Ridge Racer. Here's the back side of that. I guess you get the figure. You know, a vehicle or a weapon, some Super Mario ship here. You know, I don't see them coming out with. Daytona USA before like pole position for example let's say Daytona is like down the road this year and pole positions next year not to take anything away from pole position but you know Daytona cruising that kind of you know I mean those are like your number one racing games I don't see them giving us their top aces that soon Star Wars model here on display. Some characters. Obi-Wan, Darth Vader. I was just talking to the bad guy, Mike Worley, about this. He's talking about, well, when do you think House of the Dead's going to come? And it's the same thing. It's just like, I see, you know, House of the Dead and Area 51. So your top shooting games. I mean, you can argue Lethal Enforcers. I'd almost see a, and, and let's not forget that iArcade is going to have Operation Wolf soon. And this is something I want to ask Papa Brad. What's his thoughts? Like if there's anyone more connected to the iArcade, it's Papa Brad, Brooklyn Menace. What's, what, what are your thoughts on when Operation Wolf is ready? Because I'm thinking about getting that send in light gun pretty soon. I was pricing them out yesterday, and with the recoil shipping, I got about 188. And there is a two pack one to get, but I, I I just see the one outlet on there. I'm gonna get the one gun, 188 dollars. I think I should jump on that pretty soon because when that game gets released, I don't want to be missed out. I want to I want to be able to play it right away. Not knocking the shirts at Target, but it, this is the this is the selection. I mean. You know, the Mario Kart. I mean, these are cool shirts. The Street Fighter. Street Fighter, I guess I was going to say Street Fighter 2. See that Game Boy. But, you know, 
This is it. There's a back side, but you know, Coles just hasn't beat with with the shirts. Worst case scenario, I was looking at this one, but when I had that Coles cash, that's why I chose Coles today. Not as much over in this area lately. It's just kind of like this is left over from 2022, I guess. You know, you do have. Pac-Man, Dance Revolution. You know, I've been eyeing this up lately. It's it's $130. Just something different. You see all the Namco games on here. And they had a bad dude. Is this the one with the bad dude? Not, yeah, the bad. <laughs> 300 plus. You know, Data East. Now, I said the theory on Data East, like arcade one ups, not. Doesn't have like the Data East. It's kind of the iArcade and at games right now. And then those. And you can link these too. We saw those at, at Kohl's. So. Something, something to take note of, I guess. This is new. I didn't see this. I do like this light. That was a Ninja Turtle back here. I do like the light. Kind of, kind of leaning on it. I'm not ready to make the decision yet. So I'm with the community on. Cubert is our '80s title. I'm, I'm talked in. Like this was. Look at this hush figure here. This is like that speeding bullets Batman. The backside here. It's a good animated movie. You know, the DC animated movies are they are better than the live action. Now, that new Flash movie could be the best DC movie yet. So until that, until I see that, those animated movies, they are, they're good. So I think it's Qbert. I think that's our 80s title, and I think that makes sense. And if they did that in a deluxe with the recessed screen, That'd be the way to go. PlayStation 4 has the what's that? Cowabunga collection at Target 2. And I don't know how that works when it's those display model. Will they still sell you this one? Not sure, but iArcade, come on. Get this on your platform. That would be awesome. Could you imagine? Shredder's Revenge? I'm tempted to get the Sega Genesis Shredder's Revenge. I don't know if, if anyone's seen that on eBay. 16 bit but it's it's as close to the i haven't played shredder's revenge yet i don't have i don't have a newer console you know i've been buying the arcade one ups the i arcades at games mvsx i'd like it if shredder's revenge would go on the i arcade for mario up there we're in the nintendo area at target and they have some plush toys we have a donkey con I'm looking for anything new that we from last week. So the thing is about Smash TV, you can play it on the Intech, the NES games, or the Sega games. You can get the NES, but you would need a first gen, arcade one up first gen, or you can get that MVSX. To the Hilo hack, Smash TV, Sega Genesis. There's a ton of Sega Genesis games on the Hilo hack. And you know what? You can you can get your fix on it. But if you really want arcade accuracy, you play Galaxy Champions TV on the iArcade. It's got the dual sticks. It's as close to Smash TV on an arcade platform and I just I just want to go over that for six ninety nine. It's as close as we're gonna get right now until until they make a dedicated Robotron or Smash T V cab. Either or that's the best way to play it right now. And as far as Robotron, Satrin is free on the I arcade. I mean, you have nothing to lose. I mean, that is as close to Robotron. Papa Brad just did. 
his last video was going over like games similar to Smash TV, Robotron, Saturn. He's basically calling it, you know, that's Robotron. And I completely agree. This is one we didn't see last week. Got Ryu on it. On the backside here. So Chun Li was with Michelangelo, Leonardo with Ryu. Oh, this is a cool one. This is good. How's that sand? How would that balance? This is cool. Of course, you'd never want to take it out of the box. With Operation Wolf and the fact that you can play Galaxy Champions TV, Saturn, and Wizard of Walls for that matter. I mean, these are banger titles. You know, what's stopping you from an arcade? It's just, they, you know, Papa Brad did say, like, the last couple of games that just recently came out, they're kind of, I mean, they're fun looking, but, I mean, it's not going to appeal to everyone. I told you before that uh, you know, I like I like the way Wizard of Oz looks. I just, it's not really for me. It's not my type of game, but I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not all those games are going to appeal to us. But those are... Those are great options to play that. Look at Robin. When are we going to see Robin in a Batman movie? I'm trying to figure out which one. Is this Damien? Gotham Knights. It's got to be Damien, right? We got a Batgirl. We had a karate kid, Danny LaRusso. When I was a kid in the 80s, Karate Kid, Karate Kid Part 2, those were my favorites along with Back to the Future. They look great. And this is great movies. The 80s. Oh, this is Back to the Future here. Ultimate Doc Brown. It's like the Libyans. How did they find me? Run for it, Marty. So we saw Starscream last week. 1986 movie, right? I'm getting hooked on these Transformers. Like, it's taking everything to me. It gets even better. So we saw Star Starscream. Just love the way that looks. Look at the colors. Check this out. Sludge. Dinobot. 55 dollars Starscream's $52.99. Look at that. This is awesome. Very cool. I wonder if Jason from Patriot Prime will do a review on, on here. Look at the backdrop here that comes with. Man. Transformers are making the best action figures right now. Got the black Adam figures here. Like, you know, because the guy did get big, Adam Smasher, like, Makes sense you'd have a action figure this big. These are huge, by the way. Like, I just saw this. Gorilla Grodd, Batman, The Flash, and King Shark. I don't, you know, I never got lean. How big these action figures are compared to my hand here. I've never been into these big figures before. Like, they, these weren't the size when we were kids. I don't, I don't really understand it, but I get this. I get this because... Because, yeah, he got that big, right? But a figure this big, compared to look at look at Superman right here, I, I just don't get it. Like, DC, like, what direction are they going with their figures? It's, it's weird. You know, this, this is fine. A little bigger than, like, where a He-Man would be. But if you compare the rock right here to the Atom Smasher, like, yeah, that, I, I get that. So we'll see where those barcodes lead us, but it's, that's my guess. I just think that that's our way of registering each cabinet and just being able to contact customer support quicker. And we'll continue to speculate on those three new titles, but I do think there's going to be more. Plus that XL. But Qbert, I'm convinced 
the community has convinced me that Qbert is that 80s cab. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.